How's everybody doing? Mike from Iron Horse Overland. We're out here in uh, Calgary, Alberta, Canada. Stopped in to say hi to Jack from uh, Beaver Built Trailers. He has a nice trailer and we wanted to show it to everybody. So without further ado, we are going to go to Jack and he can tell us all about his trailers. Hi there. I'm Jack with Beaver Built Adventure Trailers. And like Mike said, this is our trailer. So everything starts off with a 12 foot galvanized steel frame and it's just under 80 inches wide. And then from there, it's all aluminum body with individual boxes, you know, and goes together similar to Lego blocks. So as you can see with the trailer on the left, that's the rear box and that's how everything starts off if you were looking at the entry level trailer. With a four by four box, a little over, you know, two and a half feet tall And then from there, this model here is our Makesis. So basically what we've done with this trailer now is the front box is added on. And that's where you'd have your cooler or fridge freezer, depending on how you set things up. So everything rides on these heavy duty slides rated for 600 pounds. This is a 75 liter Yeti cooler or you can go with a 75 liter Dometic if you had a fridge freezer, for example. And those are just examples of models that you could use. From there is the kitchen drawer pullout. And this is food grade stainless steel where you can prep all your food as well as a utensil drawer here where you can have all your cutlery and everything like that. And another set of the add-on options are the side boxes. So with this passenger side box, we've got the over center latches here. And this was our first prototype of the side box kitchen management system. So what you have is one drawer on this one that has your pots and pans, sorry, your plates and bowls and cups. And what we've done in the future now is we've added another drawer here for all your larger utensils like you know, tongs and flippers and that sort of thing. And then this is where you can put your stove. So we have this one here is the partner um, steel, 22 inch. And then this is where all of your spices and oils have a home here. And what's the dimensions of, the, of those drawers roughly? Well, you know, the way we did it is, you know, most times it's challenging to fit an oil. Yeah. you know container it's, it's funny because they don't get too short you know the most of the stuff you buy off the shelf so this one's a little over seven inches so that it will accommodate those and you know your larger spices that you'd you know find at costco or wherever you might shop for groceries so everything does latch here Very nice. um, as you can see this one is at 22 by you know a little over 12 inches to accommodate majority of stoves on the market right with you know that about four inches of height um, a lot of times what we do is we just store the gas line in behind here so it's a really simple plug and play if you decide to put an 11 pound propane bottle here for example right and you know that's where we went with something like the power tank 11 pound propane bottle holder yep it's it's something you can buy off the shelf from power tank it, it's a really great product well made. Yeah, we ran a power we ran a power tank for a long time. Yeah? Yeah. Do you like yours? Oh, I love it. And the customer service there is awesome. Steve's a great guy. Right on. That's good to hear. So down here we just have a open space for pots and pans. Okay. Once again, this is food grade stainless steel. So you can see with this addition of the side box and the front box now, you have a really nice L-shaped kitchen where you can add, you know, a 27, uh, sorry, a, a 270 degree awning. For example, what we'll be mounting on this one uh, later on today is the Quick Pitch 270. Okay. And that'll wrap right around and cover up the back of the trailer as well. All right. That's a uh, Quick Pitch. Those are good. So uh, tell us about the, sus uh, the suspension you're using. If I can get around here. 
So our suspension is Cruise Master, which is out of Australia. Right. And so what we went with for them is the CRS2, which is a dual gas shock and a spring per side. So a true independent suspension. The that entry level suspension is equipped with all of our trailers. Okay. And that's with a 10 inch electric brake. So from there, you can also add the Cruise Master D035 as well, which is their coupling. Why don't we walk your... around and show them that because sure. Our, our Patriot camper comes with a DO35 hitch and it is amazing. Absolutely. For Cruise Master, you know, been in business for over 40 years. A big thing for them with this is version three, right? So tried, tested, and true. That audible noise there, you know it's locked and attached to your vehicle. And this is just simply the dust cap that goes over top. And there's an audible click there again. And if that cap doesn't go on, it's not locked. That's exactly it. You know your way around it. And with the integrated parking brake, which has a mechanical connection back to your electric brakes. Great, great. Uh, there's a lot of the, the articulating hitches out there, but I think by far this is the best one out there. Absolutely. You have 360 degrees this way, as well as, you know, 70 degrees this way when it is attached to the vehicle. So you can have the trailer as well as your tow vehicle at two different planes, like you said, articulating around corners and over obstacles. Yes. Um, how much, if, if you have a rough estimate, how much storage space? Cause I know for me, when I was looking at, <clears throat> looking at trailers, a big thing was available storage area. Do you have a general or just a rough number of how many liters of storage you have in the trailer? Yeah, so cubic feet wise, we have over 70 cubic feet of storage. That's a lot. As well as, you know, I believe it's around that 2,200 liters okay. of storage. And so obviously with the addition of each box, and, and like I said, with, with these Lego blocks, if you will, it can be at the time of purchase or days, months, years down the road. Right. Really what we've designed this for, you know, that system is because depending on people's needs and their budget, right. they can get into our trailer, you know, at a great price point, but now you're getting into an heirloom trailer, you know, with the construction being galvanized steel, all aluminum body. Now you have something that we've designed so that it can be handed down in your family Absolutely. with maintenance, like anything else. You know, when we talk about the D035, it has a grease nipple, it has a bushing, you know, it's fully serviceable along with the suspension. Once again, you know, with Cruise Master, you can do a wheel alignment with their suspension. You know, you can replace the shocks. Easy. That's exactly it. These are things that you can do, you know, on the trip, you know, in your driveway. It really, it doesn't matter as long as you've got the tools with you. The, the thing that I've noticed, I like the fact that you can, you can build this to be whatever you want, not what, say, a particular manufacturer wanted it to be. So that being modular, you can build it out as far as you want it or as little as you want. Mm -hmm. Like your other trailer over there, you could have the back box be for all your cooking stuff and your camping stuff. And then you could have your bikes on the front or your, your blow up uh, kayaks or whatever you have. And then uh, let's talk about that upper area up there. For sure. So what we've done with the roof rack once again, this is all aluminum up here. We have four inches of height adjustability. And so there's a couple different reasons we went that route is like you mentioned, storage here, whether it be for inflatable kayaks, inflatable paddle boards, wood, as well as you can adjust the height so the tallest person in your family or your group can walk underneath the deployed rooftop tent, as well as you can incorporate your annex room. So now you have that additional living space that's screened in covered and so now you have everybody able to walk underneath there so what we typically do is deploy the tent to the driver's side and why we do that is so that we have this storage box here which is utilized for bedding as you can see that's in here as well as 
everyone's clothes. So everybody, right. in, you know, in our group has their own tote and they have a space here so they can change. You know, you can put your toiletry bags in there or, or put them up here when you're at camp. Right. And then that was one of the things that I noticed with a lot of trailers. There wasn't that much storage space. Mm -hmm. And, it, you know, then you're still having to keep stuff in your truck. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's not what I was looking for. What about this? Uh, you got this other cabinet up front? Yeah, so this is the driver's side to the front box. So this is just that additional storage of, you know, fire starting, newspaper, uh, clothesline. You know, it just those little extra knickknacks that you may need for your group. So this is where we keep lights, you know, a little broom and things like that. One of the other tools that, you know, and options that we've used here is, this is the speed wrench actually. And what we've added back here, I'm just gonna close this door up, is these are a C-jack. And the whole idea with these is you can either use this wrench that comes with them, And just crank it down just like that. Or you can use an impact with a socket attachment. And it just gives the rear of the table trailer a little more stability. Absolutely. The whole idea now is that you can level a trailer on any surface. So if you're at the base of a glacier on top of a mountain or you're in a campsite, now you can level the trailer from left to right, giving it that stability on uneven ground yeah. as well as level ground. That's a good idea. And then you would just use your jack at the front to just level from front to back. Okay. And I noticed that you had, uh, when you get done with that, uh, you had more storage in the back here. Yeah, absolutely. So with the rear box, once again, just these over center latches here that we have. This rear door, once again, has the food grade stainless steel, so it can be used as a, a table where you can just pull up your lawn chairs, or you can use it as a prep surface. Now back here, this is another one of our options as well. Not this is the light, but... rear drawer. So I'll just open it up. Oh, there we go. Then we can have a look oh, there. there we go. Yeah, so the dividers come with it. You can add your own you know, fins Bins. if you want. Yeah, for organization and that sort of thing. As well as you have this storage deck where you can add in your lawn chairs your larger items such as you know another fold-up table if you need be and that's a six foot table correct that is a six foot table once you get her out yep so three foot it's probably three to four feet deep yeah this is exactly it it's four feet deep you're right four feet deep by what four feet wide yeah so that that gives you 12 square feet of then if you go up yeah and it's you're, you have plenty of storage space with this mm-hmm and uh, what else we got? What's what's the biggest tent you can put on top? Because I know everybody, you know, people that generally buy trailers have families. Absolutely. So what we're really excited about is on Monday, we're expecting our first shipment of iCapper. So we're going to have the SkyCamp 3.0, uh, which is a... Which know, is an option. Absolutely. And that's, a you know, a king size bed. But really... Our roof rack is designed to accept any rooftop tent on nice. the market. That's the big thing is you're going to see um, 79 inches in length for the roof rack okay. by 48 inches wide. That's that's good mm -hmm. because and, a lot of limiting factors are what tent you can put on it. Yeah, any tent on the market. And then we have eight cross members across the way, and, and those are extruded aluminum. And those look like what three inches two and a half yeah they're a, a one by two one by two okay yeah so those will be plenty strong absolutely especially when you're looking at you know um three inch by about an inch and a half angle okay. aluminum as well that gives it the rigidity and strength as well as you know each one of these uprights is rated for about 1500 pounds yeah so no no problems getting your whole family up there and worrying about strength exactly it because there are six uprights once you go with the front box okay and then you have you know additional storage up here so what you're going to notice about these flat surfaces is that we have aluminum that is powder coated with anti-slip so it's like a little grip tape 
you know, so what it allows you to do is you can step up on these side boxes if you need to do anything up top and in wet conditions, dry conditions, it gives you a little bit added traction. Now, you're going to see these luggage tie downs. These are meant to be stepped on on top of this box as well as strapped down any additional gear. This would be a great place where you could add in two additional cross members that are just cut to length to fit here. Right. And then now you can put on J hooks, for example, and load up a kayak. Oh, there you go. So when you got to camp, you could offload that and then be able to set up as well. Yeah. And that's another place where I've seen a lot, you know, you got the trailer, but that's what you got. You can't. Yeah. It, now for me, kayaking and all that's not a thing. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to carry bicycles. I'm mm -hmm. not going to do that stuff, but you have the option. Yeah, you could either put it off the back, off the, the hitch, or up front where the uh, the tire is and put the tire up up here. Absolutely, so what we have is we have a rear receiver that's welded right to the frame so that can be utilized as a recovery point as well as for any hitch mounted accessories. Okay. And you touched on a really good point is, you know, some of the feedback we had from our customers is that they felt more comfortable having their bikes up front. And so what we did is we designed a two inch receiver that bolts through here right to the frame. So it's very solid. And now even with the spare tire in place, you can mount your bike rack up front. Okay. And we've had, you know, like a four place vertical bike rack up front and still people able to drive their vehicle, tow the trailer and make turns. Oh, okay. And no impediment of driving at all. That's exactly it. Very nice. What's the lead time on your trailers? So right now we're looking at around one to six weeks, okay. depending on which features um, that people choose at the time of purchase. All right. And so our standard color obviously is the metal, um, gunmetal gray okay. and with the black badging. Okay. How many, what, how many different models you have? The two, this one and, or, and then this one. So basically it's, think of it as one model. And so what we Modular. do is, that's exactly it. Okay. So it starts off with what posts is the, entry level and that's just the rear box and that translates from Cree to rabbit okay and then the thesis is the fox so yeah, I'm, I'm an idiot i'm sorry no it's all good once <laughs> you add the side boxes is when we transition to the mckesis okay name so it is the same trailer just configured in different ways and are these vision are these wheels that come on it so the standard wheel is a 15 inch vision wheel okay with a 31 inch yokohama tire okay from there, you can upgrade to a 17 inch vision wheel with a 33 inch Yokohama tire. Okay. That is a XAT, you know, it's basically a all terrain souped up version of it. Okay. However, we do offer two different bolt patterns, the five on five for your Jeeps, right. as well as the six on five and a half for Toyotas. Okay. And from there, we're very willing and able to work with our customers on matching up to their tow vehicle. Okay, that was going to be my next question. Okay. Because most people, you know, well, I wouldn't say most people, but a lot of people want everything to match. Yeah, absolutely. And, and we understand that. And, you know, we do offer other colors for powder coating the trailers. It just depends on the lead time people are looking for. And once again, their budget, because that is an option that we can do. Okay, well, we were talking earlier, you were talking about 12 volt systems. Why don't you go over what you can do in that situation if a customer wanted to have 12 volt in the trailer? Absolutely. So that's something that we're very capable of. And what we do is we just talk about their needs and their budget and look to design a system that's going to suit them now, but also can grow with them down the road. Right. So, you know, everybody has their own vision of what that electrical system looks like. However, what we have designed is that in this rear box, located in this portion here at the front of the rear box, that's where your battery compartment service module area would be. And so we have a, a tray that we use for bench build okay. that would, you know, is very capable of handling two six volt batteries, 250 amp hours, as well as, you know, a 2000 watt inverter and a DC to DC MPPT charger. Okay. So then you would have access to you know shore charging from the outside as well as your solar input from there as well and then you can locate the different lighting or you know another receptacle for that right inverter so the people can figure out what they want and then 
you guys can make that happen. That's exactly it. Oh, okay. With that option, you can still customize down the road as maybe your needs change and your budget and that sort of thing. As we always do. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, I, I think these are awesome trailers, you, good products. Um, I, 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 I urge everybody to check out Beaver Built Trailers. How can they get a hold of you? So we have our website, which is beaverbuilt.ca. We're also on Instagram as Beaver Built Trailers. And you're going to find my phone number on there as well as an email address, info at beaverbuilt.ca. Let's back up a little bit. Sure. Talk about price points. Absolutely. So starting at our entry level trailer, that's just under 20,000 Canadian or 16,000 USD. Okay. And then depending on the options, basically what we do is when people reach out to us, if they're local or if we're going to be somewhere, we'd love to meet up with them in person, go through, you know, a trailer and figure out what they need. Alternatively, in this virtual world now, we, you know, jump on a Zoom call, FaceTime, and we'll walk through the trailer, answer any questions they may have, as well as send them the price sheet. And then from there, with that sheet, they're able to look at the options that we went through. Okay. And we can answer any questions there. All right. Sounds good. One of the things I was going to just touch on briefly oh, is that good. with, you know, making the trailers here in Canada, everything's made here locally, just north of Calgary, Alberta. And what we do, though, is we are continually conducting R&D. And that involves, you know, going out camping when it's minus 32 or, you know, crossing rivers and things like that. So what does that convert to uh, Fahrenheit, roughly? Uh, 32 Celsius? Yeah. That's cold. Real cold. So, you know, that's where other manufacturers, you know, don't necessarily have those kind of climates to work with. So I feel that that, you know, is a good advantage for us. We know that it's built that kind of strong where it can endure those cold temperatures because that's when things typically break. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that makes sense because uh, it gets cold up here, a lot colder than what we're used to down in the lower 48. <laughs> uh, question, one more question. What, uh, water. Water. So what we typically do is we have jugs, you know, most people got the 20 liter jerry, jerry cans. cans. That's exactly it. And so whether it's putting it on top of the roof, you know, with front runner, they have a two bottle jerry can holder okay. that fits up on top or on the back side of the side boxes, as well as we've had a 120 liter, 30 gallon tank of water up on here. That's more of a gravity fed system. Okay. In the future, we'll be developing a water tank that fits underneath the okay. trailer that mounts to the frame that would tie in with a electrical system. Okay. So tie in with a water pump. And that's all that exactly stuff. it. And that would be a bolt on option that would fit with any one of our customers that have purchased a trailer in the okay. past. Anything else you want to add? No, that's great. I really uh, appreciate you taking all right. the time. Today. Hey, check out Beaver built trailers. Um, look, it's a great product and, uh, you heard it from the man. We'll talk to you later. Bye.